This is a bait design you do not see much of. I bought some baits from a dude on Instagram the other day, over a month ago. Just take a look at these. This, this is what this design was inspired by. I bought these and I wanted to try to make one that's similar to this style. This is a guy from Czechoslovakia that makes this style of bait pretty often. It's a thin little flappy tail. I'm calling this bait the epic darter, but I, d I don't even know what he calls these. Isn't that a nice bait though? There's airbrushing involved. I think there's plastic layering. Like it looks like red plastic was melted into the, under the gill right there. And on the fin, there's even some orange and stuff. That's just a spiffy looking bait. Here is what me and Epic Bait Molds came, in, came up with. Mm, mm, mm. Four point two? I believe this is 4.2 inches. Flappy tail style with a hook insert or a hook slot to be inserted into on the top and the bottom and the top hook slot goes through the top fin as well. You'll see, I'll show it to you in detail. Let's shoot some. I haven't shot any yet, Jason has. And they're looking minty. They're just looking fine as heck. Shake your plastics, fellas. Quickly getting a couple of colors mixed up. Just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna do a two color laminate to start the, start the bait making. Black and blue though, man. That's a good combo. My first shot with the 4.2 Epic Darter. I should probably get the lamination. Thanks, man. <laughs> I think my plastic was a little too cold. Okay, I don't, I don't think this turned out all that well because my plastic was very cold when I shot it. Oh, but it turned out perfect. Silly me, it's an epic bait mold. It always shoots well. Man, that tail's nice and flippy floppy. You guys see it flapping? This is what it looks like in the water. All right, end of the video. <laughs> my plastic was slightly contaminated with a piece of flake. So this fish has a nipple. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hard to do a video and not say completely stupid when you're here. <laughs> Great lamination though. I'm gonna try a triple injection now since the double injection was perfect, but the plastic was cold. I think I'm gonna keep it cold. Usually the triple injector works a little better when the plastic's cold. 330, 340, give it a go. Some stuff to stir real quick. Colors are hot, very hot actually. Probably too hot. I should wait for these to cool down. Woo! I think 390 is a little hot. I'm gonna wait exactly one minute. <laughs> Just kidding. And then pop one more of these in the microwave, the red one, have it catch up with the other two, and then I'm gonna shoot. That's my plan. Okay, okay there's the three colors. Here's the triple injector. That's where the magic happens. First triple injection with the 4.2 darter. Uh oh. I, I knew it was going to do that. <laughs> Let me get my colors more even and we'll see how this turns out with even colors, <laughs> temperature wise. Let's try this. Oh, okay. I'm going to clean this injector. That'll give time for these plastics to cool off. I just heated them up. Let's try that again. Maybe this can't be triple injected. Who knows? I shouldn't say that this quickly, but please work. I think that worked. The sprue looks a lot different. I think that worked fine. There's red in the middle, blue on this side, black on that side. The other sprue just looked like a mess. No discernible colors whatsoever. I split my pinky nail open this morning on my pliers while I was reaching into my pocket. You guys done looking at that? Okay. Much better. Look at that. You can see a distinctive red line. Distinctive. Mm. It's not perfect, but it's decent. Towards the end of the bait, it just turns into just a hardcore red tail. I like that. For a triple injection, 
and it's just a bait you want to use, that, that is good enough for me. I like that. That's right. We are getting extremely detailed here. I'm going for kind of a perch thing. It might have different colors, but it will be kind of a perch thing. And I should probably explain that this is going to be a single injection and I'm painting all of the colors on with a soldering iron. I did the black bars for the perch. I'm gonna go in with like a blue iridescent lateral line thing and then maybe yellow bottom and green top, maybe orangish bottom and green top. We'll see. That's looking fantastic. Color shift. Green to gold. That's a nice one. It's called Green Envy. Get some of that painted on here. It's gonna go towards the top. Very nice. And the last detailed little color we're gonna put on this is gold. This is like a light gold. It's called Diamond Gold. I'm just gonna put this right under the lateral line. Oh no, I put it above the lateral line too. And here is the colors before I inject this bait. There's the bars, the black, the gold, the blue, and the green. Let's inject. Okay, the only pigment I put in this is called minnow silver. And it's the smallest flake I have in liquid form. Super, super small flake. And I put a buttload of it in here. It's gonna need one more heat up. I wanna shoot this at 350, but here we go. Man, I need some kind of momentous music playing in the background. Just picture it in your mind right now. A Little bit more pressure on the injector than I normally do, because there's all that detail and you wanna push the plastic around it. I'm gonna put this on the hot plate right after this. It needs to cool off fully before I put it on the hot plate, but that's what I'm gonna do. All right, we're all cooled off onto the hot plate. What that's gonna do is melt just the outside of the bait, inside of the mold. And all those colors that we just painted on are gonna melt together and adhere to the outside of the mold at the same time so you get all of the detail that the mold has along with all the colors that we just painted on. See you when we demold. The sprue is protruding. That's awkward. Here is the big unveiling of the fanciest 4.2 darter ever made so far. Ooh. That is so nice. Look at those colors. I'm gonna put an eyeball on this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Look at that bait. Wow. That's not totally perch, but those are good colors. And the minnow silver, that tiny, tiny flake, that was perfect for a base for this bait. Let's tie this up. Let's go fishing. I found a really good backwater spot to a river. We might be able to drop this down. The bait fish are schooling up and being bait fish right now. So we might get some predators today. We're at the spot with one of the most beautiful baits I've ever painted when it comes to soft plastics. I love this thing. I, I'm kind of thinking it's a shame to throw it, but I'm gonna throw it. This is backwater to a river once again. It's the kind of water I usually fish. Gorgeous little darter action. It's the next day. But I made a color last night that I need to show you guys. Look at that. Super sparkly, bluish smoke on the top, pearly flaky belly on the bottom. Whew. Sorry, I just needed to show you that. Still fishing today. I'll see you at the spot. <laughs> We're here. Sorry, it's really windy outside, so I have to do this in my truck, but got plenty of colors ready. Still have the original, the fancy one we did with the perch bars and all that. Really clear water here as well, so we'll be able to see the action well. Oh, 
goodness gracious, I had a bite. It felt very small though. Yeah, that one. It's official. Low and slow and almost no action is what that bass preferred. <laughs> I was just dragging it. Be free. It's official. Bass, like the epic darter. Let's go somewhere else. Jesse's. We're at Jesse's. I did not dress for the occasion. It's freezing out here. But if I catch a fish, at least it's worth it. Let's catch a fish. And if anybody's wondering, this Battletech rod by Savage Gear, fantastic rod. I am loving it. Plenty of backbone to set a four-aught beast hook into a fish, but a little bit of give in the tip. Usually I'm a very, very extra fast kind of action guy, but I'm enjoying this with that give in the tip. Just a little bit. Smooths out the casting too. Oh, sensitive enough to feel that fish as that bait was falling off that fish bit on the fall, but I felt that real well. It's official again. I don't know if I made any sense right there with what I was saying, but yeah, these fish are even churning colors. Their lateral lines are getting dark. This bite is slow. Be free. Wow, flipped himself into the water. But this time of the year, that action where this bait's just super slow, creeping along, and then especially, like I just casted that bait and let it fall. I think I'd, I, re I might've reeled it a little bit, I can't remember, but I felt that bass while this bait was doing this on the fall. Honestly, I enjoy ripping a topwater bait across the surface and watching a fish blow up on it or just cranking in a crank and just getting that hard hit. A lot more than this style of finesse fishing, but when this is all you can do, you gotta take it. That's probably the highlight of this bait, the action on the fall. It just shimmies its way down. I think I kind of had a video idea of something I really need. And that's a uh, big test tank this winter for the baits that I make. I'm not gonna be able to fish with them as much, so it's probably best that I show extremely detailed action of the baits. Building the Marling Baits test tank. Bait test tank. Marling Baits bait test tank. Hard but soft. They're not, hooking, they're not hooking themselves whatsoever, but they're smacking it like crazy. Yeah, you can do the darting thing, and it, and it does a good job of changing directions. Yeah, and just for having that lead on the belly with the 4 out beast hook, it does a good job of snaking around and darting side to side erratically. And then there's a straight, slow retrieve, and it'll do the wobble. Hopefully you guys can see that wobble. Beautiful, very finesse action, side to side. That's all that I'm using right now, today, because the bite's really slow. But it's a belly roll and a bit of an S wobble. The tail's flapping. And then there's the, just let it fall, and it'll wobble on the way down, and you'll get a strike. It's so anticipating, you know? Or, I don't know, it just hypes you up, waiting for that hit on the fall. Well, the fishing slowed down to a piddle, but hallelujah, we actually caught a couple bass. Some pretty good ideas popped into my head while I was fishing of different colors and patterns I can put on this bait. I wanna make more, so I'm gonna shut up and make more. Enjoy.
Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. It was on the hot plate. I had it cooling off for like 20 minutes behind the fan. Fancy schmancy. The nose got a little funky. Let me try to fix that real quick. Well, maybe this bait will serve its purpose best on a jig hook or something, but I was going for crappie, if you couldn't tell. Blue top, greenish, goldish. Crappy spots. I like that. I like that a lot. Maybe I should just go for another and show you what I come up with. I'll be right back. It is quite a bit later, a few hours later. Yellow bass, if you couldn't tell, is what I was going for there. Ooh. My, oh my. A little too dark on the top, and it needs to be kind of more blue than green. But that's a looker right there, spiffy. That ends up being gorgeous with the hot plate too. There's no cold cracking at all between the colors. Nice. So there we have it. Those are the two extras I was gonna do. If you are interested in an extremely high quality mold, the Epic Darter, go to epicbaitmolds.com, link in the description. Get yourself a mold. A rather specific bait, but extremely practical at the same time. I don't know, it's just something about that style of bait. I really like that bait. If I have to be finesse fishing, that's what I, that's the kind of thing I want to be throwing. Not so much a worm. This is all just opinions though. Ridiculously high quality molds these are. Everything's surfaced shiny. It's a special kind of, it's the kind of aluminum that dissipates heat, heat the most too. Just mills exceptionally well too. Jason keeps his bits sharp. He just keeps buying new bits. Fantastic machinist, Jason is. And bait designer, Jason and Amanda. EpicBaitMolds.com. You just couldn't buy from a more wholesome company, if you know what I mean. They're very nice people. Once again, thank you, Jason and Amanda. Love making molds with you. It's been great. On to the next bait. So this fish has a nipple. Oh, that's awkward. I, I knew it was gonna do that. Flappy tail style. Distinctive. Mm. Oh, jeez. You guys done looking at that? Okay.